Welcome back, friends. If you haven't been here before, I am Susan Clifton. I'm here in South Florida. I want to inspire people of all skill levels to create art. I think it's a wonderful, relaxing way to spend some time, shut out the world. I'm frequently asked, where do you get your inspiration? Where do all these ideas come from? And I would have to say they come from everyday life. Like everywhere I go, I see inspiring things. I see shapes, I see colors. And sometimes you never know, you pick up a book and you find an idea in a book. But recently I was on a cruise. Stay tuned and I'll show you what I discovered on a cruise. What I'm going to do today is take this inspiration that I got on a cruise. I'm going to show you how I recreated it in Procreate and then created some reusable stencils on my Cricut so that I can create some new pieces of artwork. So let me explain more about my exciting cruise and the inspiration I discovered on this cruise. As I was like in one of the dining rooms, there were these, these clear panels that had shapes etched into the glass. They, it was just a very graphic design and they had it trimmed around the top, like a lining almost like a, a border at the top of the window and also in these glass panels that were separating rooms and very, very interesting. And then on the very last day of our cruise, we were waiting to disembark and there was a bar that I had never gone into. It's uh, like a robotic bar, like this robot makes your drink for you. Mm, not my idea of a fun thing, but I was sitting across from that bar waiting to disembark and I saw this wallpaper and oh my God, the shapes in there and the layering the organic nature of it, I just thought, wow, the, these would make great stencils and this would be great for the jelly plate. So I took that idea from that wallpaper and I created some designs in Procreate. I'm going to export them out, bring them into my Cricut. And uh, anyway, we're going to do that today. We're going to look at Procreate and how I created it in there. They're just black and white, simplest, easy way to learn Procreate and then export them out, bring them into Cricut, and cut them out as stencils and masks. So stay tuned. So as I showed you from my inspiration from the ship, I created four Procreate projects. I made some circles that will give us our lower layer with smaller items. And then I created, these will be masks. So this first one, I should mention, this is going to be more of a stencil. So these black areas will be the openings and the white area will actually be the plastic. On these, the black area will be the plastic and they will be masks that I overlay over the circles. Please stay till the end of the video because I have another bit of inspiration from my cruise. Completely different. It happened in Curacao, so stay tuned at the end. Okay, so as you can see, I've been already playing with some of these. I am going to offer these as a free download, and I'll put the link below. Check that out. These will be SVGs and ready to cut. So if you like this type of content and you like creating papers for collage, I'm going to be doing a lot more of that. Plus, we're going to be doing some collages in the near future. I'm going to try to make it as unique as I can, more in my style. It'll be different than what other people are doing, I think. So please, subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. Okay, so let's create a new project. And I'm going to upload one of the other images that I've created. I'm going to upload this one that's called Circles. And this one will be more of a stencil. I'm going to click on it and then add to canvas. Okay, as you'll see, they are again a million little circles. So I'm going to click on that 
and weld. Okay, so it is still, you still see the grid in the background, so you could tell what's being cut out. And it's a proper size because I did this in the Illustrator, and it's four, about four inches by 11. So actually, since my plastic is about four and a half, I'm going to add a little bit of space around top and bottom and the sides. And then I'm going to click make it. I'm going to select on mat, position within the red. Oh, come on. You could do it. <laughs> nice comfortable space all the way around, including the bottom. I'm going to click, con click continue. See now up here it's showing that it's connecting to the blue, to the Cricut Joy. I'm going to choose my foil acetate. More pressure. Now I load, there we go, it's measuring to make sure that the mat is aligned properly and is also long enough to cut out this design. Now another thing I want to mention is when you adhere the plastic to your mat, make sure your mat is nice and sticky and really burnish it down, make sure it's really stuck on there because I have jammed my Cricut machine when I tried to cut a similar pattern on one that was not really stuck down well. So you don't want to mess up your Cricut and everything. Luckily, I, my Cricut's not broken, but just, you know, make sure that it's really stuck on there. Don't use like some old mat that's lost all its stickiness. Okay, so let's go on. I'm going to move on to go. So notice it says one of two passes. So each circle it does, it does twice. And that's so it really makes sure that it cuts all the way through that foil acetate. And this, this acetate that I'm using is a craft acetate. Um, I will put a link below to how you can uh, purchase it on Amazon. Okay, so two passes have been completed, and before I unload, let's see, I don't know if the camera, let's move the camera down a little bit. I like to lift up the corner and make sure that the cuts are nice and clean, and they are. Okay, so I'm going to hit unload, and it comes right out, and let's see. Now, sometimes you have a couple stubborn ones and you have to just go in and pull them out. But I think that's fun. Okay, so here we go. This is what we came up with. We have, this one is a stencil, all circles. I may make a, um, a variation on this with larger circles. I also have masks that can overlay, as you can see, they can overlay. They could also just be used by themselves and overlaid with each other to make interesting shapes on the jelly plate. And what I discovered, I was going to throw this part away, but the part that is left after you cut out the mask and the little inserts that go inside 
can still be used as a stencil. I think they could easily be used by laying on a plate, <coughs> either by themselves like this, or this piece here. I mean, that's kind of an interesting shape right there. So we, we can use these as stencils on the jelly plate. Okay, so the next time you see these stencils, which will be next week, I will uh, come back and we will create some jelly prints with these. And you can see exactly how my inspiration from the ship now translates onto a jelly plate. And we're gonna play with some neutrals and also some bright colors. So while we were in Curacao, we were on a bus on our way to a beach excursion. My husband was with me and we were informed that we were going to make one stop at an art gallery. Wow. Of course, a lot of people on the bus groaned at that. I, th I thought that was horrible, of course, as an artist. Why don't you want to see art? I don't, I don't get it. Anyway, we get to this um, location and it happened to be at a high point on the island and there was a path we had to walk along. It had a sign and it was an individual artist, only one artist. It was not really a gallery, it was more like her studio. And she unfortunately is no longer with us and her sister runs the place now. And she's selling, still selling her artwork and she's selling hand-painted furniture and her studio is still there showing you how she used to work and where she used to work. And there's this amazing view from her studio window. Oh my God, it was so inspiring. So it's always a lot of fun to see how another artist lives and works. And this place was rustic, but it was spacious and it's now just a gallery, but um, amazing views and I, I loved having that little peek into that little studio showing her work table with all the paint on it uh, it was just great anyway what a place to work I, w I said to my husband okay we're, we're moving to Curacao <laughs> so I'm thinking of taking this little picture of a fish like a real close-up eye of eye of the fish and I thought that would make a great collage so we will probably work on that in a couple of weeks. But anyway, that's where I'm getting my inspiration from. Look at the world around you. Just keep looking. What do you see? You go to a restaurant, especially a beautiful restaurant. What details are on the wall? What kind of artwork have they chosen? Why did they choose that artwork to go with this furniture? And how can that influence your artwork that's that's how an artist thinks we just sometimes we look at the ground even you see little things on the ground or little grouping of rocks or something we get inspiration from everywhere that's the truth so when you're on vacation you're out at a restaurant you're at a friend's house you can get inspiration so that's it for today don't forget create, inspire, and share. See you next time. Before you go, check out this other video that I did on the Cricut and reusable stencils.